what an amazing opening from Tabeka. And you know, she taught me something in that opening because when she messaged me to ask if I'd be part of this evening, I obviously said yes, I would be delighted too. And then she sent me that text message and she said, can you remember this? Now, Tabeka is a very special lady, but I have to admit, I didn't remember that message all those years ago. But it taught me that as leaders in forever, and you are all leaders because you're all legal, that it's really important that we give people the time. So when people message you, take that time to respond because that little bit of encouragement could totally change their future. And there she is on the GLT for two years. So give her a big round of applause. So there's my little Phoebe. She is my world, as well as my big ones, Will and Rosie. And in July 2016, she was born. I'd just turned 41. And Phoebe was a little welcome surprise into our life, with an 11-year age gap to Rosie, and Will was 13. So the last 15 months has been an absolute whirlwind for me. And actually, as a GLT member, and the income that I've generated and the foundations that I've got, it's shown me what forever can do for us. You know, I've been able to take real important, precious time. As Tabeka said, you know, my children are my world. I don't have a nanny, I care for them myself and I work my business as well. And I've been able to take time to be mummy to that precious little baby. She comes everywhere with me. But the hardest thing I found at 41 was trying to lose the weight that I put on after having a baby. Mummies out there, can you understand? Is it hard to lose that weight? Yep. I'm not one of those people that just jump straight back into my jeans after giving birth. I hate those people. My sister's one of them. <laughs> um, and I've tried every diet going, if you like, in the last year. I'd seen what my friends were maybe doing on social media and thought, you know, I'll try that for a week, I'll try that for a week, and never sticking to anything. And you know, the sad thing was, we've got the products, they're right there in front of us. I'd done the C9 quite a few times before, and I knew it took motivation and focus, and maybe I just wasn't quite in that right mindset at the time to do it. So what happened was I went to Dallas. Who was out at Dallas at the Global Rally? Incredible event. I picked up my chairman's bonus check, feeling slightly overweight and not being able to use that new baby as an excuse anymore. I then went on holiday with my sister. So Sam's out in the audience, she's an eagle as well, got a great business within my team. She's nine years younger than me, two kids, and very, very slim. And I was there by the pool with Sam and the children, and I thought, you know what, something's got to change. I'd also just started using Instagram, and one of the girls in my team, Fiona Izzard, is fabulous on Instagram. And we can always learn from our team. So I was watching Fiona, and she was talking about the 24-day shred. And I was thinking, what is it that she's talking about? And then it all clicked together that clean nine is nine days, and F15 is 15. Add them together, do them together, it's 24 days to feel good. So I'd never done the F15 before. Stand up in this room if you've done the C9. Please stand up if you've done the C9. Loads and loads of you, that's incredible. Now, can I just ask you to stay standing if you've done the F15? So stay standing if you've done the F15. Okay, now look around the room how many people have sat down. And I was just like you. 12 years into the business, I'm not quite sure how many years F15's been around, but quite a few 
and I hadn't done it. And it's one of our main products. So the C9 there is a cleanse, it's a great kickstart, gets you in the right mindset. But it's actually the F15, which is our weight management program. It's the F15 that's going to help you lose weight if you're looking to do that, get fitter. That's the program we need to follow. So I decided at that moment I needed to be the change. I needed to be an ambassador of the products and actually do the F15. Because I realized I was never, I'd never sold an F15 actually. So I realized unless I did it, I wouldn't be able to share my experience with someone else. So I decided to get started. I booked myself a personal trainer because I need someone knocking on my door in the morning so I've got no excuses because I can always find an excuse not to exercise. So that's what I needed to do to kickstart me. I decided to do mindset every single day, telling myself what I wanted to look like, where I wanted to be. I've got a picture of me on the beach in Hawaii when we went with Forever in 2013 in a little sequin Union Jack bikini. And my goal is to get back into that bikini. I've still got a way to go, but I'm losing weight and I'm getting in the direction I want to be. I also found a buddy who wanted to do the program with me. And it's far easier to do something with a friend and have that motivation and not let that person down. So, this is my before and after photo. So you can see there, day one of the C9 in the top. And you can see day one of the Fit15, so the end of the C9, and then day 24. And there is a huge, huge difference. And I then started to have more confidence in myself. I knew the products worked because I could see that transformation. And for me, the picture in the shorts is the best picture. Because quite clearly, I couldn't do the shorts up before, and I could do them up by the end. So I started sharing these photos on social media, and all of my team kept saying, Nat, do you mind if I share that photo? Can I use that photo? And of course, I said yes. But what I thought was, actually, each FBO needs to also be an ambassador. Because we're much better at sharing our stories if it's us in the picture. If we share our own experience with our friends, our customers, rather than sharing someone else's. So, what I decided to do was to set up a challenge. So I spoke with a couple of managers in my team that I work frontline with, so just a few people rather than the whole team, and I said, right, should we do this together? Shall we launch a team challenge to all follow the C9 and the F15? So we put together some marketing materials, some posters we could share on social media, some messages we could send to customers and friends, some frames to put on our profile pictures on Facebook, and we got ready to start the challenge. So what did we do? We set up a new Facebook group just for people doing the 24-day shred. Now, you might have FBOs that want to get on board, but not actually follow it through. So some might say they want to do it because they want to be part of the community, but are maybe not prepared to do the program themselves. So what I said to the FBOs that I was working with, if you want to be part of the community, then you need to show me your order. I need to see your C9 and your F15. I didn't want them just doing the C9 and not following through because I knew I couldn't look after my customers until I'd done it myself. And if we were going to work as a team, we all needed to be able to look after the customers in that group, look after our own customers. And we can only do it through our own experience. So we started adding team when they'd bought their C9 and F15. And that was quite good for case credits. Do we all want case credits? Yeah. yeah. And then 
FBOs could add their customers with just a C9. So we didn't expect the customer to buy both straight away, but you couldn't just add a customer in for a look. They've got to purchase. So they're committed to start it with us. So we had a good couple of weeks setting it all up and promoting it, and we created a really good community. We wanted it to be motivating and lots of information because we know people like to feel part of something. They like to be where there's energy, where people care. Just like in your team, duplicating, you need that same community. Now, like I said, you know, I've learnt from Tebeka. I've learnt from people in my team. And there's one person in my team who I always go for, go to, if I need help with how to speak to people about the C9, how to speak to people about F15. So she's got amazing, amazing customer care. So Katie has been in the business for three and a half years. She flew over here yesterday with my sister. And I asked her yesterday if she'd mind getting on this stage in front of all of you and just sharing how she looks after her Clean 9 customers and her F15. So would you like to hear from her? Yes. Yeah? Would you like to give her a massive, massive welcome because she's a little bit shy? <laughs> give her a cheer. Hi, she's not lying, she really did ask me in the car last night when she took us to a rodeo in Cave Creek. She just turned around very casually and said, oh, by the way, Katie, um, would you like to speak to everybody tomorrow night? I went, uh, can't say no to you, you're Natalie Healy. So here I am. So Nat's right, she did all the hard work for us in so many ways by setting up this 24-day shred group. We all had a couple of weeks to find our customers, and that was the easy bit. The bit that then we all have to do as individuals, regardless of the group, is to look after our customers on a personal level. Just like you look after your prospects, you've got to do the same with your customers. So the group Natalie's going to tell you about afterwards, about all the different things we did in the group, but this is outside of the group encouraging us all to, to look after our customers. So this is what I do as soon as I get a Clean 9 customer. If they're local to me, I absolutely deliver the Clean 9 to them um, personally. You can't beat that at all. And I take about 10 to 15 minutes with them, with that delivery, and I open the box, I take everything out, I explain to them the benefits of aloe, I explain to them the benefits of Garcinia and Therm, why it's important to not forget to take the fibre, how much water you need to drink, all of that, I take them through it, take them through the book. Whilst I'm doing that, I ask them lots and lots of questions. Do you drink a lot of coffee? When's your weak point? Are you an 11 o'clock in the morning biscuit taker or are you a 4 o'clock in the afternoon chocolate eater? I need to know all these things because then I know how best to support them through it. Because what we all want with our Clean 9 customers is for them to be successful. Because if they're successful on the Clean 9, they fall in love with the products and they will keep coming back for products. And best of all, they'll become what I like to call an aloe mouth. They will tell everybody they know that they've done the Clean 9 and it works. So that's what you want. So the benefit of really looking after your customers is that referral business that follows. The other thing I get them to do when, when I take the clean nine round, after I've taught them through the benefits of everything, is I get them to try the gel. So quite a lot of our clean nine customers are new to the products. If I've got somebody that's already drinking the gel, this isn't an issue. But if you've got a customer that's never tried the gel before, then I want them to try it when I'm there. I don't want them to start the Clean 9 on day one and try the gel without me there and go, oh my God. Okay, let's be honest, it's a plant. For some people, it's brilliant. For all of us in the room, especially the new one, we all love it. But if you're a first timer, for some people, it's really hard. So I make sure I take with me a chilled bottle of aloe and I watch their reaction. Usually, I tell them it's gonna be really, really bad because that way they go, oh, it's not that bad, it's fine. So if you big it up that way, that quite often works. If they find it really bad, it's easy for me to go, have a grape, have a strawberry, have a glass of water. All of those things that they might not know to do if they're doing it on their own. So I think that's really important. Then the day before they start their clean nine, I make sure I call them in the morning, not the afternoon, to make sure they've got everything they need in their fridge already. 
Have they been through the free foods list? Have they got a fridge full of fruit and vegetables? Are they ready if they've got to go to work, to work the next day on day one? You've got to make the Clean Nine as easy for them as possible. So if you've got customers that work full time and they need to go to work on day one and day two of the Clean Nine, they have to think about the logistics of taking 120 mils of aloe to work and the supplements and the shake. And you'll be surprised the number of people that don't understand that if you take the bottom off the shaker and you put your shake in it and you screw it onto the bottom, that's how you can take it to work. So it's really, really important that you do all that with them. And of course, the last thing I say to them is, is your aloe in the fridge? The number of people who don't think to put the aloe in the fridge is incredible. So you all know, because I think a lot of you have already done the clean nine, day one and two are the hardest days. If you can get through day one and two, you can get through the entire clean nine. So day one and two is an FBO, is the days that you're really, really going to win your customer over. They're the days that you're going to show your customer how much you care about them. So on the very first morning, the very first thing I do is I text them in the morning and I usually say, so how was breakfast? And that usually gets a laugh from them or something sarcastic back because of course breakfast is basically aloe and supplements and a glass of water, isn't it? And usually they'll reply with, yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Then mid-morning I'll send them a message and I'll say, don't forget to take your fibre, put it in some warm water, it dissolves more easily than that, make sure you don't take your fibre too close to the garcinia in the therm, etc, etc. So it's just teaching them through it, showing them the way. About half an hour before lunchtime I'll say, have you taken your garcinia? Because you need to make sure you have that gap and if they forget, they'll be hungry and they're frustrated when they realise they've forgotten to take the garcinia, then they need to wait another half an hour for their shake. So it's really, really important that you keep in touch with them, reminding them gently and showing them how to do it. By the evening, they're going to be hungry. So I always send them a little message saying, make sure you have your greens, because in the evening, by this stage, you're onto your free foods. You can have some sugar snap peas, you can have some peppers, you can have some cucumber, something to nibble on. And then I tell them to get an early night, because they've not had very many calories, they are gonna be tired. And then I repeat that on day two. Day one and day two are hard, so it's really important that you show them that you care and you make them feel special and you look after them really, really well. By the evening of day two, I've got them to say, come on, let's have an early night. And I've got them to start thinking about the fact that they have breakfast in the morning on day three and what are they having for dinner. The discussions I have with people about what they're having for dinner on day three are insane. They are so excited by this point to know they're about to have some chicken and some rice. So day three to day six, I suppose from an FBO perspective, are probably the easiest days of looking after a customer on the clean nine. You can be a little more gentle. It's easy for them. They're having a shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, and a 600 calorie meal or 800 calories if you're a man. And it go on and so on and so on. So I just check in, check how they're feeling, see how they are. Every time I ask them how they feel, if it's positive, I say, that'll be the aloe. Oh, my hair looks great. That'll be the aloe. My skin looks great. Oh, that's just the aloe. My digestion's much better. That's the aloe. And I constantly reassure them that it's the aloe that's making the difference. That's what's special about our cleanse. If it's not so good and they're struggling with it, then by keeping in touch with them, I'm showing them that I care and I can solve their problems. If they're saying they're having trouble with this or trouble with that, I can say, drink more water, have more fruit, eat more greens, etc., etc. By day six, I start saying things to them like, have your friends noticed anything different about you? And quite often they'll say, oh yes, such and such said I was looking much slimmer or my skin was much clearer. Oh, I'll say, do you think they might like to do the clean nine too? So I'm starting to sow that seed of that referral. By day seven, I'm starting to talk to them about what their plans are for day 10. Because clean nine goes through to nine, what are they gonna do on day 10? By day seven, they were in a real habit of going shake, shake, meal, shake, shake, meal. What are they gonna do on day 10 when they've got no supplements, a little bit of aloe left, and no shakes? And some people who've really seen that change like that structure and they want that structure to continue. So that's really easy, you can just say, look, we've got a follow-on program, it's called the Fit 15, and then I'll explain the Fit 15 to them. If they say, I feel really, really good on this, I don't really know what to do next, I'll say, well, look, let's keep drinking the aloe. It's the aloe that's making all the difference. And then I've got myself a gel drinking customer. My job with the Clean Nine, as far as I'm concerned, is to convert every single Clean Nine customer into a gel drinker, a shake taker, or a supplement taker. Each one of them, I want them to take a monthly consumable product so that I can predict my retail and keep my case credits high. So 
So somewhere around day eight or day nine, I've sold them the product they're going to follow on with, be it, be it the Fit15, be it more gel, more shakes, whatever. And on day nine, this is your day where you've got to really, really congratulate them, especially if it's their first time of doing it, because it will have been a struggle and they'll see massive changes. I always ask their permission before I post on Facebook on their personal page. And I think it's really important that we respect that. Some people are very private about their weight and their bodies, and they don't want you splashing all over their Facebook page that they've lost lots of weight on the Clean Nine. So I always ask them first if I can post a congratulations on their page. Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. If they say no, I ask them to post on my Facebook page and say, look, could you just do me a little referral on my Facebook page to say you've had a good time on it? And they'll say yes, because they have. Most of them will have lost some weight, but they will all feel better. And that's the important thing about the Clean Nine, is recognizing how much better everybody feels when they're on it. Day 10 is the day that I tell them to weigh in. I know it's a nine day program, but they're all still on it on day nine, aren't they? So day 10 in the morning, that's the day that I tell them to do the weigh in. And always you get lots and lots of messages in the morning going, oh my goodness, I had no idea I'd lost that much weight or, or something like that. And then we start again and that's it. They start again, they're on the gel. I look after them every day. They're on the Fit15, I look after them every day. They're on the Vital5, I look after them every day. I make sure I track when they're gonna run out of products so that I can be in touch with them four or five days before and reorder for them. And that's how I keep my C9 customers and that's how I've recruited from the Clean9 as well. It says there on the slide below, it says FBO. About a third of my frontline FBOs all started on the Clean9 with me. And they all love that product and that's how I started in this business. I was sold a Clean9 after I had a baby, just like Nat lost loads of weight, felt fantastic, knew I didn't want to be a teacher anymore, and started my forever business three and a half years ago. So, I hope that's helpful. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Katie, fantastic. So, Kate, Katie's shown that really, we look after our customers like we should look after our team, with being there, supporting them, and giving them plenty of recognition along the way. So what else did we do in our Facebook group to support them? Constant daily motivation, support, because obviously customers are gonna be asking questions in there, so we all made sure we were there to answer any questions. We created our branded campaign. We did step-by-step -step guides, so Katie actually went in there and did a video before the Clean Nine explaining the products, explaining how the program worked and we would give tips if they don't, know, don't like the taste of the gel, what they can do. We also had a personal trainer in the group, so one of our managers is a PT, so she did daily exercise routines in there, and obviously you've got them on the Fit app as well. Um, meal and shake recipe ideas. Louise Riley, who's on the advisory board in the UK, she came in on about day seven and explained the benefits of the FIT program. So again, you can be doing that yourselves. You'll have someone with great product knowledge in your team that you can ex say, explain the benefit of the F15. We had mindset in the group because we've got to focus on where we want to be to get us through it. Um, we did little challenges, competitions, and lots and lots of recognition. In fact, we've done a competition for the best transformation. So the best body transformation as one prize, but also the best mindset transformation. Because, you know, feeling better about yourself, for a lot of people, it rises, raises their confidence as well. Now, this group is literally only just finished while I've been here. So the 24 days is only just up. Um, yesterday. So when we get home, what we're going to do is a live business presentation in the group as well, because lots of these customers are happy with the products. So we want to show them with Christmas coming up how they can earn some extra money. They're already great ambassadors of the products because they're loving it. So we're going to show them how they can share those products with their friends and family and earn some extra money too. So I really hope we'll be getting lots of business owners through our customers. So this is our results in short. There were 60 FBOs doing the C9 and F15. So they've now got great product knowledge on that product. They've got the experience that they can share with their customers. So they, in the long term, will be retailing not just the C9, but the F15 as well. 
We've got 160 customers from those 60 FBOs in the group and more are joining now because people are sharing their experience so we're keeping that group going for the long term. We've got better brand awareness because we're posting that product so more people are seeing it. And I've already converted two of my customers into team members. And I know there's a lot, a lot more about to or have just done as well. So who would like to be recruiting through the products a lot more? So you heard earlier that the Home Office are launching a C9 challenge on the 1st of November. Now we want to be doing this ready for the biggest weight loss season starts on the 1st of January. We need to be a product of the products. That means we need to experience the C9 and I believe the F15 as well. So what I want you to do just to end this is I want the lights to come on and I want you to stand up if you're committed to be part of the C9 challenge on the 1st of November. Who wants to be increasing their business? Stand up if you're with us. Have we got someone taking a photo? You can see Aidan in there. Aidan, are you with us? <laughs> Aidan's gonna share his before and after photos after. That's commitment in his mankini. Is that what you said? Mankini or bikini? So we've got the evidence here. We're all going to be starting on the 1st of November. We're going to be feeling the best ever going into the 1st of January. And what's going to happen is we're going to be recruiting new potential eagles. Who wants to be here with more eagles in the next year or two? Yeah? Let's do it all together. Thank you very much.